a bevy of fierce aquatic assassins hidden in the gloom. Versus a cave full of giant bugs, bats, and hanging snakes in the dark and on my own. Which of these moments from Deadly 16 do you think is gonna win our Deadly Showdown? My name's Steve Batchel and this is my Deadly Showdown, where we put head to head a whole bunch of incredible fierce creatures, from tiny little scorpions to huge sharks. But this time round, it's all about the creepy, because this is our Spook Central Showdown. Ooh. So who are our contenders? Well, first up is the Mexican night snake. This is a, a kind of snake which lives in caves in Mexico and hunts bats as they fly past on the wing. It is a remarkable thing to see. They hang from the ceiling of the cave at the exact right time of the night when the bats are heading out uh, to feast on the insects in the forests around. They have got phenomenal eyesight, but they're hunting in total darkness. And that is why it becomes difficult for us as filmmakers. Because the second you go in there with any light whatsoever, the snakes perceive it in the total darkness and they will just slither away. So you guys wait out here, yeah? All right, see you soon. So the only way that you can see in this total darkness is to press the camera to your eye and then walk around with it. It's an infrared camera, so it's sending out a beam of infrared light that we can't see, the snakes can't see, but the camera can. And then when you finally find a snake, you just kneel down in the mud and the bat droppings and you just watch and wait. And it can take hours. I have now spent four nights on my own the whole night kneeling down in that cave in total darkness with bats thundering past my ears, over my face, over my eyes, and you, you can't see anything. The first time that you perceive them is when they hit you. It is the most scary thing you can possibly imagine. And then you wait. There's a snake. There's one right there. Okay. I've got a snake in front of me in absolutely perfect position and posture. So I'm just going to hang out now and hope to catch it striking on camera. I came close to getting the right shot several times, but didn't quite manage to nail it. And then, coming towards the end of the last night, I saw this striking. He's got one. It's, it's actually, it's got, it's got one right now. I didn't quite get the strike on camera, but it's so fast. It's, it's wrapping coils of the body around the bat, and now what it's gonna do is squeeze. At that point, once they've caught their bat meal, all of a sudden everything changes and they're not fussed by the light anymore. So I called out to my cameraman and sound man, and they came in, bringing with them white light. And as they began to film, we saw the incredible spectacle of this Mexican night snake maneuvering around and swallowing whole this bat, which it had already constricted. And like all snakes, they can eat things whole that are many times bigger than their own head. So being in total darkness, surrounded by bats and bugs and snakes, that is Spook Central. But contender number two might well be its equal. This was in the seas of Alaska, which are very cold, and in the summer tend to be quite green because they're filled with, with plankton. And that makes them gloomy and by their very nature, Spooky. On one particular dive, we were right alongside a stellar sea lion colony. This is the largest species of sea lion. And although we think of them as being playful, adorable animals, they're capable of taking on some pretty full on prey. And their teeth are just like those of a real lion. Normally, when I'm diving with sea lions, it would be in quite clear water, and you can see them from a good distance away, but not here. Our visibility was down to about four or five meters, and so they would just appear out of the darkness. Oh, he is gigantic! This is spectacular! Well, I'm gonna sit here on the bottom. Whoa! 
That's a big male fellow sea lion and a very, very frightening encounter as soon as we hit the bottom. And the next thing you knew, they would have grabbed a hold of your fin or grab a hold of your, your mast strap and be pulling on that. Oh, Blake, get off! Ow! Oh, that hurt! And you just did not know where they were going to come from next. The colony was huge, there were over a hundred animals in it, and we felt outnumbered, outgunned, and utterly vulnerable. You guys get close together, otherwise we're going to get absolutely mullered here. Every once in a while you get a flash of those teeth. Oh, crikey, that was close. <laughs> um, they're starting to bite now. Getting a little bit too bold. I think it's probably time that we should head up. So who's going to win? Well, it surely has to be those knights in the cave with the hanging snakes. It's as close as I've ever been to being in a Hollywood Halloween horror movie. So what do you think? Was that creepy or am I just being a little bit pathetic? There's lots more deadly showdowns on BBC Earth Kids, so make sure to subscribe. There's oodles of deadly content on there as well. And from now, from me, Stevie B, it's Spook Central out. Ooh.